So to, to hoist the gator head, what did that mean to you? Yes, sir. It was a great experience. I remember seeing guys doing it when I was a little kid. Um, so go out there with my buddies on the offensive line and this whole team. Um, it's actually amazing to be able to take part in that type of experience. Seven games in a row of 200 plus rushing yards. You're yes, not even here. I knew that. I'm sure that how big of a deal is that for an offensive lineman? Oh, it's, a, it's a huge deal, right? Um, having that kind of confidence in, in our room, um, at least in the offensive line with Coach Atkins, Coach Rutita, uh, Coach Coop. They've done an amazing job with soft line. Uh, the development's been you know, very clear to see over the past you know, two years since I uh, got here from Notre Dame. But it's been uh, an incredible process, right? And we, we've stuck to that process. Um, not necessarily being uh, outcome-based, but uh, sticking to the standard and sticking to uh, uh, working as hard as we possibly could in the moment. Um, it's been great to see that, that happen over the you know, past seven games. Uh, we've put a lot of work out there in the field. And even if it's not the past seven games, uh, that kind of stat doesn't show the amount of work we put into this. Can you, can you go back to the, the Clemson game? Uh, you guys seem to start doing a lot more two tight end stuff, and just some little things changed. Uh, yeah. Was there some significance to that game? Did you learn anything from that performance? I wouldn't say much changed. Looking back on the season, I honestly don't feel like we lost a game. Um, I, I don't know. I've played a lot of football. I've been playing football for six, six seasons now. Um, this team's done an incredible job. Um, and not only in you know, those games where we, we may have lost, but um, throughout the whole process, throughout the whole season, um, it's been amazing to be part of an offensive line that you know, only had to play you know, six, maybe seven guys throughout a season. Having that kind of continuity, having five guys seeing through one set of eyes, and having that consistency on a day in, day out basis was a great experience for me. Um, I know the coaches you know, are definitely take, taking advantage of, of that kind of continuity. Do you mentioned it was process based, and the process produced nine wins. Just talk about uh, what it's been like for you personally to be a part of bringing this program back to where it wants to be mm -hmm. and, uh, how, and what you've seen of the growth of this program since you got here. I know, I know it's been tough and uh, even in my experience up north, you know, when you have a season, a, a non, you know, quote unquote winning season, it's tough to see that progress. It's tough to see those actual steps, you know, the more touchdowns, 200 yard plus games. But this isn't an outcome based process. That's what Coach Norvell preaches every day. That's what Coach Atkins pre preaches every day. It doesn't matter if we rush for 10 yards or 200 yards. We're going to come to practice and work the same way every week. Um, there's never too much, too high or too low. Um, we're always trying to stay even keeled in the middle. But I'm really, really proud of how this team worked over a season. But to see that consistency, to see that outcome start to happen um, as we work towards that, that, that final goal of um, you know, winning those games and those big games we have this season, it's been amazing to see that process. And uh, you know, incredible, um, especially for the guys on this team and the fans of Florida State football, to see that process you know, start, to, start to unfold. You've had the, the vantage point to work with different offensive line coaches in your college career. What makes Coach Atkins unique and why have you gelled with, with him? I, I've I've said this before, but I can't say it enough. Um, when I was in the you know, transfer portal, um, I, I ended up, you know, I was recruited by a whole bunch of schools. You know, people were calling my mom at work, they were calling my sister. Like, it was, it was kind of a ruthless world. Um, that's what it still is, at least in my knowledge today. Every coach was promising me something. He was telling me that he needed he needed something at guard or at tackle or at center, wherever it may have been. When I picked up the phone with Coach Atkins, he didn't promise me anything. He told me I had an opportunity, um, that opportunity to come in, uh, to be here at Florida State, to hopefully gain the trust of the room and make a radical impact on the field. And, you know, some of those other things may have come along with it, with the scope and size of Florida State. But that was one of the most refreshing things that's ever happened to me. And nothing has changed since then. Um, nothing's been promised to me. I haven't been treated differently than any of the other guys. And I've had to come in and work and put my best foot forward every single day to get the position I am today. Um, and this offensive line group, it's extremely attractive to me, especially coming in from the transfer portal, to be able to make an impact. Um, I had a lot of guys you know, above me um, when I was back up north that taught me the right way to conduct myself, uh, the right way to handle business, and the right way to play football. And to be able to pass that on to a group of guys, to be able to show them those structures um, and those systems that I, I was able to put in place here at Florida State that I took from up north, it's absolutely incredible to see that you know, come to fruition and uh, have some great success this season. If you were hand, like handicapping, or if you were an assistant coach, and you thought, okay, in 2023, this guy might be ready to take a leap on the offensive line, a young guy that we haven't seen play a lot, do you have one or two in mind that you think could really? Well, I think we have a lot of young guys that are taking that leap right now. Um, right now, we're, we're in kind of transition period. As you can see, we're wearing these uh, kind of scaly type pads. Uh, the younger guys are getting a lot more reps during practice and drills, and, and even right now, they're doing some live periods. So this is a great opportunity for them to showcase what they put in over the season. It doesn't matter if those guys were you know, part of the 2D or even some of our, uh, our players that have been helping out the defense on the scout team. 